Hey, 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 YouTubers! Welcome back to Galactic Gaming. This is Hatfield15 reporting for duty, and today we're back with some more Metroid Dread. So it's been a few weeks since I recorded my last episode. I'm sorry that it's taken me so long to get some more Metroid Dread videos out and about, but University and several unforeseen delays kind of had my hands. But, you know, I'm recording this on December 10th, the, night, the day after the Gaming Awards, and, uh... You know, unfortunately, Metroid Dread didn't win Game of the Year, but it did still win Best Action Adventure Game, and that, in and of itself, is just absolutely awesome. I was super happy to see Metroid Dread win that award, and again, I've said this before, but even the nomination for Game of the Year is incredible in and of itself. But, yeah, in the last episode, we took out the last Emmy, and uh, now we have Metroid powers, apparently. So, before we go out and take care of Ravenbeak, we're just going to be backtracking now to collect... Uh, all the item expansions that are in this game so we're just gonna hop right to that so as you can see i made i collected a few expansions uh off camera okay well that volume's a little bit loud so let me just turn it down a little bit <clears throat> okay yeah but anyways um now we're just gonna continue on this way because i think there was an expansion that i don't think i could have acquired beforehand yeah it's this uh yeah it was this cold room that i couldn't go to before but now that i have the gravity suit and other abilities i can safely go on along this way <clears throat> let's see what items does this area hold if any Ooh, okay there's an energy part right here so let's see um oh okay so the route is pretty simple i all i gotta do is just uh you know take care of that oh. okay i gotta get to the other side and i've gotta take care of that projectile because those things are literally just power bombs Woo! okay man these things are everywhere I mean, I guess that's kind of a given, but... Okay, wait a minute. Is this... Oh, okay. So this is going to be one of those items. Okay. So, yeah, I've heard a lot about this game, and it's like, uh, it's so-called Shine Spark Puzzles. So this is going to be quite the day now, isn't it? Oh, yeah, that's right. There is the item right over here. So let's just go ahead and collect this uh, Missile Tank Plus, because I think we need to use this to our advantage. Um, yeah, I'm just going to explore a little bit before I attempt to do anything. Okay, is there even anything in this room? Or... Okay, there is. Oh, okay, some screw attack blocks were there. That makes a lot of sense. I may as well just grab that red X, even though it's not going to have too much of a consequence. Okay, so let's see here. Yeah, I think I've just got to save my... I think i just got to get a Shine Spark going and then just uh, make my way down there and get that Missile Tank Plus. So... Yeah, I've, I've already... I've got, like I said, I've grabbed a few items here in Perennia already. Okay. Ah, crap. Okay. Uh, I've like, apparently I've heard this game has a lot of uh, Shine Spark puzzles, so I'm really looking forward to, uh, you know, hopefully not sucking so I can uh, get those puzzles done. Oh. Ah, come on. Alright, I know there's a way to do this, but clearly I'm just not doing it right. So, I just gotta take a, I gotta take a little bit more caution with this thing. Have a bit more caution to the wind, and... Oh. Ooh. Okay, that turned out well, and... Ah. Ah, damn, okay. I, I don't know why I thought I could just easily destroy that speed booster block from the other end. So, yeah, this could take a few attempts, though. Oh, okay, and that was way too early of a stop, so I just gotta get it going over here. Alright. Ah! Okay, wait, maybe maybe the problem is I'm just, like, spin jumping. What? Yeah, because I'm spin jumping and that triggers my screw attack. I, I think I just want to, like, let off on the control stick as I'm trying to make that jump there. Ah, okay, there we go. Maybe I just gotta get a bit more of, like, a jump downwards in order to get that item. So, yeah, I mean, I'm learning. Don't worry, I'm definitely learning, so... There we go. Okay, so I just need a little bit more patience with the speed booster now, don't I? Now, it's just this other one that's gonna be a real pain because I have, like, two ramps to go up. Well, actually, you know, let's not complain and let's actually just give it a... Oh, okay, I forgot I was supposed to slide in that direction. So let's try this again with the speed booster. Alright. Ah, okay, wait a minute. Oh man, I know there's a way to like, uh... Hmm. Alright, come on. Let's see. How do I... How am I going to do this? Okay, come on. Okay, I'm trying to, like, not spin jump so that I can get up on there. So, it's going to take a little bit of practice with this one. But at least we got the... Uh, at least we got the one... Uh, the uh, Missile Tank Plus that was over here. And, uh, yeah, that energy part is definitely going to be a bit more troublesome. But hopefully we'll be able to get it in this episode. 
try. Maybe we just gotta gun it. Ah. Okay, so maybe that's what they want you to do. I'm not 100% sure, but maybe they just want you to gun it with this one, go all the way up that ramp, and then, uh, you know, then just save your speed boost for when the time comes. Ah. Alright, okay, no, I'm definitely supposed to... Oh, wait a minute! Okay, wait a minute. Okay, so maybe that's maybe that's something I can use to try and uh, stop my screw attack from happening. Ah, yeah, there we go, there we go. Oh no! Ah, damn. Okay, I mean at least I got the first little section of it. Okay, let's just move on down before that uh, organic power bomb hits me. Okay, so I'm I know what I've got to do for this item, but it's just going to take a few attempts now before I can just... Oh, ah, damn. Okay, wait. Wait a damn second here. Um, I mean, considering how, I can how I'm using a control stick rather than a D-pad in this game, maybe I have more angles that I can go with with the, uh, Shine Spark. Oh, okay, maybe not. Maybe, I mean, that might have been my error, but at the same time, maybe you only just have, like, eight uh, degrees of di degrees of direction with this speed booster, like you always have. I don't know. Ah, come on! Oh, boy, this is gonna be one of those upgrades, isn't it? Okay, there we go. We got a good start. Okay, I might have just screwed the whole thing up. Yep, I definitely screwed that. I mean, I could have recovered, but I couldn't. Hmm, makes me want, makes you wish there was like an option to like slow down time, kind of like with the phase shift back in Metroid: Samus Returns. But then again, the speed booster didn't exactly exist in that game, now did it? All right, there we go. Oh. Ooh, oh, okay, I was trying to hit... Okay, wait, maybe I... Yeah, I need to go in from that uh, platform where that little organic power bomb just landed. Okay, all right, I'm definitely starting to get the hang of it. I definitely know what I have to do in order to get stuff. All right. All right, I gotta start off with this one right here. Oh, and... Up we go, baby. Okay, that took a few attempts. Oh, okay, that was like the fourth energy part I needed for another tank. Cool, coolio. Okay, now I mean now that that's uh, a tricky little energy part's been acquired, uh, let's go explore a bit more. But of course, I think that's only like one of like the first few um, Shine Spark puzzles, and there's probably going to be like a lot more as we go further on in this little adventure of ours. Okay, can't quite get to the other end from here, or can I? Um. Okay, yeah, I think there is a way to it from the other end here, but I. Yeah, let's just try making our way back to the surface where we can try out that other Shine Spark puzzle. I figured out that that's a Shine Spark puzzle right there, so... Yeah, maybe the game just wants us to go back there, and I... Because I saw a bomb block there that we can now, uh, destroy. Alright. Oh, okay, good. My screw attack is capable of one-shotting those little blocks. Okay, and that projectile actually travel through the wall to, uh... Continue to try to harass me, much to my surprise. Oh, hey, Adam. Alright, and I, I've i started another file of Metroid Dread. I just wanted to play more Metroid Dread while I was waiting to make other episodes of this one. So, I mean, I've, I've actually found that there's a bunch of expansions in areas like Arteria and Dairon that I could have easily grabbed with my abilities that I had at the time, but I clearly didn't because I didn't notice them. So, we're definitely going to be going back for those items now once we get to that point. Okay, yep. And here's where we have the space jump. So, now I think we just... Screw attack our way on through, absorb all those little X parasites. Yeah, I'm not, I don't think I could, I don't think I could destroy that, uh, I mean, I don't think I could quite get to that bomb block before, so, okay, yeah, this is definitely a new direction, and I see with my little eye a missile expansion, so, okay, wait, is this gonna be, oh, okay, I think this might be another one of those shine spark puzzles, so let's just destroy that mass right there. Um... Okay, let's go take a look uh, on the other side of this room and see... Okay, I don't think I'm gonna have enough room through here, so... Yeah, I think they definitely want you to come at it from this room right here. However, I'm not quite sure how you're supposed to get the momentum for that. So that being said, I think I'm just gonna 
put a marker here for now and just, uh, you know, come back to it a bit later. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Get him to eat a bomb. Alright. Yeah, I'm really curious as to how they want you to go about this. Hmm. Well, whatever. Okay, now there's, uh... Yeah, now there's this one that's right up here. So, yeah, I want to get rid of that uh, creature that's right there. And it was flashing a bit, so now I've just got to lap it again. And absorb that red X. Okay, yeah, I'm pretty sure the way they want you to go about this uh, missile tank plus that's above us is they want you to get a shine spark going from all the way outside and then just race back in there like Sonic the Hedgehog. Alright. 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 Oh, wait. Oh, okay. Okay, so they want you to uh, keep the speed boost up and going, which honestly is, like, it's interesting because I think you can actually wall jump in this game with a speed booster. Oh, okay, I clearly messed that one up. I didn't wall jump correctly, so I gotta go about that all again. Alright, come on. Wow, that's impressive uh, if you can just wall jump and keep the momentum with your uh, speed booster. That's actually, again, I've said it before, but I really like how they uh, really uh, buff the speed booster in this game. And it would be cool if I could uh, keep the... <sighs> okay, wait a minute. Maybe I can... All right, it should be possible for me to... Okay, no, I don't. I didn't have quite enough of a boost, so I think I gotta go at it from outside. Whew. Man, these Shine Spark puzzles really do take a bit of effort now, don't they? Uh, come on now. Hmm. Nope, I didn't mean to slide. I meant to go out here and get the speed boost going so I can... Ah, okay, I made it to the other end, but I didn't save the energy from that boost. I mean, it's alright, it's alright. We still, we've got all the time in the world. Well, I don't know, maybe Ravenbeak is plotting something nefarious and we gotta, like, put a stop to him ASAP before, uh, you know, he puts, uh, the potentially the entire galaxy in the obituary, so... Yeah. Okay. There we go, there we go. That was actually a really interesting one, how they rigged that one up. So, yeah, really props to Nintendo. So let's take out, uh, let's take out that marker and let's focus on... Okay, wait, do I... Okay, yeah, I did... I... Oh, yeah, I did just get that one. So let's make our way back into the Emmy zone and uh, try and collect some of the items that are closer to there because, yeah, there's an energy part that was there when we first uh, came to Berenia. Uh, Berenia. Yeah, Berenia. I keep confusing the names sometimes, but... Yeah, this I think this is where they want uh, this is where I want to go next. All right, we're back here in the Perennia Emmy Zone, which uh, you know I think there's a lot more we can explore now that we've uh, taken care of that Emmy because you know those valves are always locked off unless uh, you know unless you destroy the Emmy, which is in that zone. Okay, so okay, so here's that thing. Okay, let's just get back on the ground and, uh, you know, let's pulse radar on this place so we can find what we need to do here. Wait, maybe we need... Okay, yeah, I would have suspected that we need power bombs, so... Fire away! Wow, again, I just freaking love how power bombs, again, just look like complete nukes in this game. And I also like how they essentially pull in all X-Parasites in the vicinity, kind of like they did in Metroid Fusion. I really like that sort of callback to it. Alright, so we're here now, and I think we needed the space jump to get this, uh, this energy part. Yeah, I think we, I mean, I guess we could have gotten it without the space jump, but, I mean, obviously it makes it a lot easier. And now we have one of four, um, parts for our next thing, and we have almost, uh, you know, three quarters of the items here in Ferenia. So, let's see, where do we want to go next? Um, okay, yeah, I did some looking around, and I'm not sure if I have any business in this part of Ferenia, so... I think it's mainly just a matter of... Okay, I, yeah, I collected that one already. Um, oh yeah, that's right. There's, um... Yeah, there's all this. I'm not... Like, seriously, how do you get here, though? That's the question I'm asking. Okay, wait, maybe there's some sort of other blocks there that I'm missing. So let me just backtrack there. Oh, wait, there's actually all this area here. So let's just go explore this first. Okay, yeah, that's right. I need to, uh, DBZ teleport over this, uh, little shutter. Alright, let's let's slide on down and let's see... Yeah, this is where we encountered that mural with uh, Ravenbeak. You know, the one that depicted Ravenbeak. Okay, so there's pretty much nothing down here and it's just really a bunch of ruins. I mean, I'm just gonna Pulse Radar it regardless just to see if I find any anything, if anything at all. Um, okay, let's see. Doesn't look like there's anything here. 
And yeah, that's where Quiet World narrowly saved our skin from that Emmy. Oh. Yeah, we gotta uh, speed booster our way through that. Okay. Wow, low key, that is honestly so awesome how you can just wall jump with the speed booster and keep your own momentum. Like, I don't think other games would typically allow for that. Oh, okay, so there's the Cyan Teleportal that could take us to another part of Ferenia. So, where's the other Cyan Teleportal? Um, okay, wait a minute. Let me just... Okay, I'm not sure if there is... A... I mean, there's gotta be another, like, a Teleportal that takes us there. Maybe it's maybe it's somewhere in Hanubia. That's gonna be my only guess, is that it's somewhere in Hanubia. So, um, yeah, we've acquired that. We are trying to go get that. Actually, I'm just gonna see if I can figure out how to get this item right here. Alright, so much to my surprise, apparently we don't need the speed booster for this other one. Apparently we just need the space jump to time and time it just right with this. So, yeah, I don't know why, I just naturally assumed I need the speed booster because I could easily grab that with my screw attack. Or space jump more specifically. So let's just take the marker off of this one. I'm not sure why I didn't try to go for that earlier, but... Oh, we're doing really good for items, you guys. We've got, like, almost 80%, and, uh, yeah. Alright, so let's just... I'm just gonna take another look around the map and see if I need anything or have any items here. Alright, let's just highlight, uh... Wait a minute, have I acquired this one? Okay, yeah, I did acquire this one. Let's see, and I've also acquired this one. Wait, what, what even was this one again? Oh, okay, so there's this semi-zone door right here that I need to go all the way to, so time for another transition. Again, you're gonna notice that these videos are edited a lot, mainly because it's this long periods of me not talking and just trying to get to the other side of things. Oh, and speaking of which, I somehow... I mean, I guess the cop to the other side of this whole grapple beam thing was just right here the whole time. Much. Yeah, apparently it was just right here all along, so... Yeah, let's just get this out, and now let's just continue on over to the Emmy zone Alright, yeah, I don't think there was much purpose coming here beforehand because mainly, I guess it was just another short way around and all there is is like, uh, it's, it's just a recharge station, so I don't know why I came all this way just for this to happen. So, um, you know, I'm actually not sure. I mean, I guess there's like a lot of the Emmy zone that we still have yet to explore, including, okay, I'm not sure if that's uh, any little bit here, but I know there's, uh, I guess there's a little bit over here, so let's just go ahead and explore everything here. Oh, okay, that door is apparently locked off from the other end, so I'm gonna have to open, force it open from the other end. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll open that up so I can get back easier. I mean, it's pretty easy already, but yeah. Okay, so let's see, where did- oh, okay, so there's another missile expansion right in here. Oh yeah, that's right, I forgot that Seeker missiles actually work on enemies cloaked in electricity, so... Oh, ooh, okay, so it looks like I think we just found uh, another good part of the missing items in this, uh, in Perennia here, so... Yeah, I might have to edit these a little bit, but yeah. Oh, okay, and I guess there's, uh, let's see, can crossbombs get it from here? Okay, they can only get, like, a small portion, so I think I'm gonna have to, like, power bomb this in order to get those blocks. Yeah, yeah, and I just caused obscene amounts of collateral damage in the process. But, you know, after all that, we finally have been that. And now let's see. Okay, now how... Oh, okay, so there's an entrance on the other end here. Oh, so wait a minute. All this time, there's that powerbomb block. Okay, and there's a teleportal. I'm not sure where the teleportal uh, will take us, but I guess there's only one way to find out now, isn't there? However, I'm actually really not sure what's gonna happen if I try to use the teleporter when we haven't found its, uh... When we haven't found its, like, pair. Because, you know, the teleportals, again, they work in pairs in this game, and... You know, like, we found pairs for, like, pretty much every other one except for the Cyan teleportal. So I'm not sure what's about to happen when we try to go use it. Ah, man, I was hoping I could destroy that one before it got infected by the edge. But, yeah, even so, I'm about to destroy with my, uh, cross miss- with my, uh, storm missiles. I just about called them cross missiles, but, yeah. Alright, so we over here now. Okay, this one is another one we could have easily gotten right when we came over here. 
Okay, so I think there's about like one or two other items uh, here in Ferenia, but I'll have to take a look at the map to uh, find them. But for right now, I'm actually interested in the teleport because I want to see what happens and where it'll take us. All right, where will you be taking us? Oh, okay, so it'll be taking like all. Of, I'll be. It'll be taking us back to uh, Berenia. Okay, wait a minute. Did I? Have I encountered the one in Berenia before? I can't actually remember. But first, I just want to actually take another few minutes to try and find if uh, like the last items here. Okay, so apparently there there was a there was a point for us uh, going over to that uh, storm missile block earlier, the one that led us to that energy recharge station. And I mean, obviously, it makes our access a lot easier because apparently there is all this up here. So maybe I should make the habit of scan radaring or pulse radaring a lot more things before I actually just decide to try and move on. Okay, wait. What are these blocks? Okay, those are all pitfall blocks, so... Okay, I'm not sure what they want us to do, so I'm just gonna take a chance and just nuke everything. Yep, when in doubt, you just gotta absolutely annihilate everything. You know, it honestly makes me wonder, like, how exactly, uh, like, how exactly do the ex parasites get drawn to, like, the epicenter of a power bomb explosion when it just nukes everything, so... You know, that's just something I've been curious of. Okay, wait a second. Oh wait, that Oh, that was probably a bad idea. Oh wait. How How do they want you to get this one because hmm. Uh Okay, I need a moment to think. How do they want How did the devs want you to try and grab this upgrade? Okay, not like that. Hmm. Okay, so apparently they just want you to go about this real quick, so I'm just gonna wait for it to, and... Okay, now I just gotta grapple beam it, and we're done. Now, I think I've gotta wait for those, uh, bomb blocks to, uh, be destroyed again, so... Yep. Okay, gotta just make it quick, make it quick. Alright, there we go. I finally made it, and with that in mind, we should have 100% of all items... Okay, wait, what? Um, is there another way through? Okay, good, there is. Okay, I just had a panic attack for a moment. I'm like, I came all that way just to get stuck on the other end. But there we go. I think we have all the items here for... Yep, that's 100% of items for Berenia. So now it's time for yet another lot of uh, backtracking to Berenia now, where we're going to continue this. Okay, so we've returned to Berenia. This place has honestly been one of my favorite. Oh. Okay, so that's. Oh well, this is embarrassing. Well, I'll be back. One eternity later. Well, change of plans. So maybe since it's convenient and since the areas are practically right next to each other, why don't I just uh, focus on cleaning up uh, items in the cave update next? Okay. Okay, yeah, so that was... Yeah, there's like a few items around here. There's this one that I'm thinking... There's this missile tank that I'm going to focus on right off the bat with, uh... You know, item collecting, since it just happens to be right there. And now, just to get to the other side. Again, as I was saying, like, um, you know, Berenio is honestly one of my favorite environments. And frankly, Gavran isn't, uh... Not, isn't too far down the list from the, you know, the position I had it with Berenia. Okay, I'm not making any sense when I'm talking, but all I'm saying is I actually really like the environments with Gavran too, as much as I liked it with Berenia. And frankly, the environments in general with Metroid Dread were freaking amazing. Now, let's see, how do they want you to go about this one? Because... Okay, wait, maybe they want you to try and come at it from the other side? I'm actually not quite sure how they want you to go about this, so let's just uh, see what I can find here. Okay, yeah, there's a lot of end keys around here, and... Okay, um, okay, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right, there is an item somewhere within here, so I think I wanna go I'm gonna want to try and backtrack to this area next. Oh, okay, so there are some blocks right over here, and I need the screw attack to destroy them. So clearly there's a way under... Okay, yeah, oh, okay, I think I see what you have to do. I think you just gotta go all the way around in order to get that item. All right. Man, item collecting is, like, trickier than I previously thought it to be, but I guess I'm just so accustomed to knowing where expansions are in, like, other games and stuff that it's been a while for me, you know, personally, to have those gamer senses sort of kick in. So we'll just ignore that one for now, and, uh, you know, we'll just carry on. But, you know, as I was saying earlier about Gavran, I mean, Minecraft jokes aside, I actually really like, uh, 
you know, the whole under underground forest environment with this game. It just looks really nice. And not to mention, like, the fluid animations, uh, you know, like, the water animation. It just looks so cool and, uh, honestly, very realistic. It's one of my favorite things about this game. I mean, frankly, there's a lot of things that I like about this game. Frankly, you know, because of that, it's no wonder that I won. It was nominated for Game of the Year, but it also won, you know, Best Action Adventure Game at the Game Awards last night. But, I mean, regardless of it, won, regardless of it winning the award... That I wasn't anticipating. I'm still really happy that Dread won an award. It, it's really quite like a hell of a comeback for Metroid, personally. Aha! Okay, so the bomb, so the items were hidden this way all along now, weren't they? Okay, and it was all that way for a missile tank. Okay, I guess that makes sense, but yeah. Alright, so where do we want to go next? I mean, I guess we're just trying to work our way around. Oh yeah, and there's still all this up here that's currently unexplored. Okay, I have that missile tank, so we're just gonna mosey on our way back over this way. How do you even get around in this place again? Um, oh great. I mean, there's that. That's blocked off. Uh, let's see. How am I supposed to get down to the... Oh, no, wait. No, that's not a, that's not a way down. Bruh. Alright, so since, uh... Wow, I... Man. It's really interesting how, like, this game really, like, blocks off some of the uh, previously accessible areas. Because I'm trying to, like, get to them to get to, like, the teleportals or the other items. But, yeah. I mean, a lot of this video is just really going to be edited out. So you're not really going to hear me complaining all that much. So, I guess it's back down to Berenia we go. Okay, so I think we've warped ourselves into an area of Berenia now that we, we won't get stuck because I didn't come back and use the Seeker Missiles earlier. But yeah, we have more than half of the items here in Berenia now. So, and personally, again, this is one of my favorite environments in this game, mainly because just how it looks, really, and just how nice the water looks, and especially the music. I mean, Metroid in general has always had really nice music for, like, water environments, but, you know, Berenia in general, it, like, it really sounds nice. Now, let's see, it says there's an item up this way, so more towards the upper ends here. So let's just pulse radar this and see what we can find. Oh. Aha! There's some there's the something we're probably looking for. Oh, okay, we need the speed booster for it. Thankfully that's not a problem now that we have our gravity suit, so it's time to shine spark underwater, which honestly sounds so cool. Woo! Hmm. Man, again, I just freaking love how... Man, there's a lot of things that I love about Metroid Dread. And now I guess we're going to continue on this way because there's... Okay, nope. We're going to go down and we're going to continue on this way towards the deeper ends of Berenia because there's that missile tank over there. Alright, down we go. Oh, yeah, that's right, that's right. I just needed the gravity suit and space jump in order to be able to get this one. But, you know, since it's convenient, we may as well just take a dive deep into the... Uh, or dive deep? I meant a deep dive into the lower parts of Berenia. Um, okay, yeah, that's right. There's that power bomb block over there. So that's probably the location of something. Okay, I don't have any business down here other than that power bomb block. So I think that's really about it. And it's just mainly working our way back up to the upper levels of Berenia. Even so, I'm really gonna, I'm still gonna enjoy the journey and just take a while to like listen to the music because, again, like, I mean, seriously, look at this. I mean, sure, Meridia and Super Metroid, for example, had a nice underwater environment. So did Sector 4. But, you know, like, the like the ocean here in Berenia, like, it just feels very, like, it feels much freer than, you know, other games, you know? Like, there's a lot less, like, walls and stuff. So, that's really the point I'm trying to make about, uh, you know, the environments in this game, is that they're a lot less uh, closed off and linear like their predecessors were. I mean, that's just my opinion, at least. I don't know. And bombs away. Right, and down we... Oh, you're kidding me. Okay, I mean, at least we took care of the power bomb blocks, so that's not going to be an issue. Um, okay, good. Alright, we and we're able to slide with the with the speed booster, so that's obviously going to be a really good thing now, isn't it? Woo! Hmm. Alright, really liking it. Oh, okay, and all that way for a power bomb tank. Again, I actually really like, uh, I mean, despite the, the ones in Perennia being tricky, and possibly there being a lot more really tricky power bomb... Uh, not power bomb puzzles, uh, speed booster puzzles in this game. Like, despite them seeming tricky, I actually really like the direction that Nintendo's taking with them. Okay, I don't... Okay, there's no item here, and I think we've got everything on the lower levels, so I think it's just going to the upper levels now. 
Oh uh, yeah, that's right. There's a yeah, there's an item right up here where Quiet Robe opened the gate back when we first met him. So yeah, and then there's one over here. I'm not sure. Yeah, it doesn't look like we have too many more items. So we'll just let's just make our ways to the upper levels of Berenia now, shall we? Okay, wait, what's this over here? Oh, okay, so that was like the last, uh, that was like the last, uh, you know, the, the thing that was blocking that last, uh, missile block. So yeah, now we can destroy that, and now this, uh, okay, wait a minute. Oh, okay, so now that's no longer blocked off to us like it was earlier in the video, which, you know, forced me to backtrack all the way through, uh, Gavran. Alright, through this map room. Okay, yeah, and here's where, yeah, now we're at the gate where we, uh, you know, where it was unlocked for Quiet Rope. So now that we have the Pulse Radar, let's see. Oh, okay, so there's something on the other side. Okay, I could have sworn I did a, I mean, I guess I did as thorough of a search through that gate as I could. And, you know, it's useful how, you know, bombs are gonna destroy that. Oh, okay, so it was a missile block, and now we have a missile tank. Alright, good, good, good. Okay, so I think we can get the last of the items here in Berenia, in which case I'll end off the video there and maybe do a few, a little bit of item hunting in Gavran, just so we're not wasting too much time before we go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Ravenbeak. Now, let's see, I thought there was like a flashing area somewhere around here? I don't know. I'll just have to take another look once we get this missile, other missile tank. So, yeah, time for a little adventure. Oh, okay, I gotta go back the other way. But thankfully that should be unlocked as a result of my previous trip here. Yeah, and yeah, there was those little wall thingies that, uh, you know, are a bit of a nuisance. Okay, that's also a little bit of a nuisance too, but not a problem with my exceptional powers. Okay, that's I could just take an even shorter route around this way, but yeah, I guess, I guess I've chosen not to because I'm a rebel. Okay, so the last little bit of our items, I think, are just in an area right through here, and yeah, now there's, uh, yeah, now there's all these, uh, end keys, or whatever you want to call them, and, uh, yeah, I think there's not too many more items here left to collect. I think there's just another missile tank, that's really about it. So, you yeah, know, let's just pulse radar this thing again, just so we can find the next little, the last little bit of our items, in which they seem to be right down here, but we need our speed booster for that, so, let's see. We should be able to get enough of a boost from here. I hope so. Yep, there we go. We got just enough of a boost to be able to kind of get down here. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, okay. Oh, this is like, this is another one of those shine spark puzzles. So let me just scout out the area first. All right, looks like we got a nice large slope here, then an obstacle to slide down, and then another, and then another slope. So yeah, this is gonna take a little bit, and I think I'm gonna end off the video after this one right here. Yeah, okay, I see what we have to do here. So let's just travel back to the start of this whole gauntlet, if you want to call it that. And, uh, yeah, then we'll just figure it out from there. Alright. Let's see. Okay, nope, that's not enough of a boost. Yeah, I think we gotta start it all the way from over here. Okay, I didn't think I was gonna stay open, so... Alright. I guess getting the start of the boost is just like the most daunting part, so, yeah. Alright, how are we gonna do this? Um, okay, is there, no, I don't think there is, a, a, like a sep, I don't think there is a way to make like a bigger platform for us. Um, okay, I really gotta like time this just right here. Come on, okay, that doesn't help very much, but... Alright, this really is going to take a little bit of effort, isn't it? Alright, there we go, we got it. Ah, okay. Alright, I think we almost, yeah, we almost had it right there, but, I mean, at least we had almost had, like, the first little bit of it, but, you know, we screwed it up.
Okay. Damn. Okay. I gotta be. I guess I gotta be a little bit quicker with this. Yeah. I think I really need to be quick with it. So I guess I just gotta outright slide underneath uh, that first little bit there and get to those spider tracks. Okay. That was a little bit too late. But now I've got at least I'm starting to get like the basics of it. Okay. Okay. Um, you know what? I think I'm just gonna go ahead and end off the video here and get this on a spare time. So, yeah, again, sorry if this video is, like, very, very short and there's, like, a lot of jump cuts, but I just don't want you guys to get bored from, you know, a lack of commentary as I'm backtracking to all the areas. But, hey, you know, if we make progress like we did in this episode, I'm really confident that, uh, you know, we'll be able to get 100% of items and then face Ravenbeak yet. So, for now, that's about all the time we got today. So, thank you all for joining me today. Be sure to subscribe. Leave comments down below because I like them, and crank that like button to the max like soldier boy. Till then, I'm Hatfield15. Space out, bros and brositas.